Hi, I'm Tanya Fissa, and today we're going to show you how to create your very own smorgasbord of food in a bottle. And this is a great bird feeder. It really is very simple. It's got a couple of steps to it. Um, no major machinery required because remember, your cutting list you're going to give to your local builders and they'll get everything prepped for you. So you just dash in, get your few pieces of timber and then put it together. Let's go through what you're going to need to create your lunch in a bottle. The thickness of the pine that you're going to be using, which is SA pine, is 20 millimeters. And that is a standard piece of material that you'll be able to pick up from your local builders. So let's go through it. For the back, we need a piece that's 300 by 120 mils in size. So that is a rectangle. For the bottom, we need one that is 120 by 120. So that's a little square. Then for the little sides, we're going to need one that's 80 millimeters by 30 millimeters. We need two of those. And we need one piece of wood that's 120 millimeters by 30 millimeters. Pretty simple. And that's the cutting list that you can give to your local builders. We're needing another small piece of pine for a spacer. And that can literally be a piece of leftover material. You then need an old bottle. You need four self-tapping screws that are four by six millimeters. All right, very important. An aluminium strap, and that can be, you need to buy it at half meter lengths from your local builders, so that's pretty easy. And a cup hook. The tools that you're gonna need for this is a glue gun, a hammer, screwdriver, and a pair of tin snips. First step is to take your two largest pieces of wood. This is the back, which is going to form the back of our bird feeder, and this is the base. Make sure that your positioning is going to be just perfect, right? And then on both sides, just put some of the glue on using your Dremel glue gun and a bit across there. Fantastic. And all we do is make sure that we stick it in, press it down firmly, and make sure that your edges are nice and flush. The next step is to take the remaining three larger pieces of timber. The one is 80 millimeters. You've got two of those, and the other one is 120 millimeters. And that we're going to use to go around the edge here just to form your lip of your bird feeder. So take your Dremel glue gun again, put a nice big whack of glue across the one side, and pop your little guy on there. There we go. Fantastic. Do the same on the other side. Pop them on. And then our remaining piece of timber, which is the 120 millimeters, glue across the front here. Put a bit of glue on the underside of it and stick it on. There we go, it's already taking shape. So we've attached the back, the base, and the three little bits to form our lip so that the seed doesn't go tumbling out. Right, the next step is take your bird feeder, light down, facing away from you. Whatever bottle you've taken, this is an actual fact, an old vinegar bottle, Whatever bottle you're going to be using is going to determine the length of your strap. So I can't really tell you how long it's going to be. But all you're going to do is take a bit of this aluminium strapping. And this is where really you just need to play around with it to see how long it needs to be because you want it to go across the edge there and be able to hold the bottle but leave just a bit of a gap at the bottom here so that the seed can actually fall through. So according to how I'm working here, there we go. I'm pretty happy with that. Even once it's in here and it's pretty secure, I know that there's going to be a bit of a gap at the bottom. And that's the gap there that I'm referring to. So it can't be flush on it, straight on it, because then none of the seed is going to come out. Once you're happy that it's in place, all you need to do is hold the one side of the strapping, right? You've bent it into the right angles. Take your bottle out. And then to make life simpler, all you're going to do is take little pencil and mark it off there so that you know where it is and then to get through your aluminium take a drill with a little drill bit on it and just drill straight through it also then makes your marks so that where you need to then put your self-tapping screw in 
Once you've got it in place, you can either use do the good old fashioned way with using a screwdriver or you can use your cordless drill with a little attachment and then get this baby in. Pop the second screw in just to make sure that our strap is not going to be moving anywhere. Right, and then just to make sure, you're going to pop that in again, place your strap over it, make sure that you've still got the opening, and drill your two little pilot holes straight through the strapping, which I've already done there, and I can pop them over there, and then take the bottle out again, and put the screws in. So there you have it. The strap is in place, held there by the two screws on either side. We've got our base, we've got the little lip around it. And now you're probably wondering, what about this little guy? This is the spacer that we said you'd be able to get from a bit of an off cut. It is 10 mils in thickness, and it literally is going to go about there. How do we know that? The only way to do it is to place your desired bottle in and have a look at where you need to place it in order to make sure that this is going to be going down parallel the opening of your bottle to the back of your bird feeder. So I'm happy with it about there. That's it. Hold it in place. Take the bottle out. Same process. Use your glue gun. Pop a bit on there in the space that we need it to go. Bit on the other side. And easy peasy. Pop it into place. There we go. That little guy is now going to stay there. As good as ever. And then Pop your bottle in, and there we have it. There's the space between the bottom plate and the, the opening of whatever bottle you're going to be using, and that's important to allow the seed to be able to fall through. Obviously, as the birds eat away at it, so the seed is then just going to fall through. Really simple, a couple of pieces of timber, and remember, most of the work is in fact done by the good, friendly guys down at Builders. Our last step that we need to do is you've got a little cup hook, and you're simply going to screw the cup hook into the top plate here, Get that guy in. Now, of course, depending on how you want to hang it, you might have to use a couple of more, more cup hooks, depending on what desired final spot you have for this. But it really is pretty easy. Get this guy through. You could then also attach a little piece of string to it, which you could then change your height and make it easy to get in and out of the trees. And there we go. Attached, nearly ready to go. Let's get the seed in. And check how it works. Right, now we need to get our bird seed in here. One of the easiest ways is to use a watering can that's got a nice thin spout. And yeah, this can get a bit messy, but you know what? There we go, feed it in. You could also use a funnel. So just feed your bird seed in there. There we go, nice and smooth. That's working pretty cool. Don't do it too fast or it's all going to come spilling out. Now it's time to place your bottle with your bird seed into your bird feeder. When you're placing it, please be gentle with this. There we go. Making sure that you're not spilling all of the contents out immediately. And then watch this. This is the cool part. Flip it over. Out comes the seed. Remember, because of our little lips, it won't flow over the edges. And as the birds are eating away, so you can see more seed then just pours out of the bottle. Remember, everything that you need, you can get from your local builders.